Hey, it's Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit PDFs for free. Now, there's some things you can or can't do for free with PDFs on the official Adobe sites. And this list right here shows you what's free and what's not. First, I'll show you how to do this on the Adobe PDF Editor website. And then I'll show you how to do this on the Adobe PDF Editor app, um, which I think is a preferred method by me. And then I'll show you a free website where you can actually download a PDF into Word, type something in Word, put it back into PDF, and stick around. I'll show you as a bonus at the end how to create your own PDFs for free using the tools already built in to your Google or Android devices. So first, using the Adobe PDF Editor website, I'm going to go there. I've got that open already. So you just search on Google for Adobe Acrobat Reader PDF website, You'll find the website and you're going to have to open this in desktop mode. So you click on the three dots up in the top right and then you'll see that it says desktop site. I have this box checked. If it's not checked, go to desktop site. And it's kind of hard to read. As you can see, there's tiny little font here on that. You can zoom in if you want and it says select a file. So you select a file and you can do a media picker. You can pick an image, etc. And then I'm using the media picker. So this method using the desktop site is not ideal from my experience. I tried putting things on here and it's tiny. You have to pinch and zoom. And it says this document contains fields that you can only fill in using the desktop app. Um, so there are definite limitations in here. Um, and you can highlight stuff, comment in, you can sign things and draw on there. So there are some things you can do with the free version. But if you want to do all these other things, you're really going to need the premium version. I recommend overusing the actual mobile browser site is to use the app. So if we go over to the app, um, there's actually quite a bit you can do. So if you go to the Google Play Store, for example, on an Android phone, you search for Adobe Acrobat Reader Edit PDF. I've already downloaded that. So you open that up. You have to sign in. Um, you can sign in with a Google account. If you've linked that, you can create an account. So again, there are free options where you can highlight, edit, comment, draw in, things like that. So I'm going to open up a PDF to show you on here as an example. This is one. I just took a picture of a book, turned it into a PDF, which I'll show you here at the end how to do. Really easy. Um, and there's some nice options you can see along the bottom. So if you want to to draw something. If someone wanted your signature on a PDF, you can just pick the color you want to sign in. Let's say black, let's say blue, etc. And then I can just sign it right there, right on the PDF. So I just signed this picture. Let's say you're an author that published a book. Someone sends you an image of it. You could send back a signed version, whatever. Or if it's a document and they want your signature, you can do that. So you sign it. You click the check, put the author name in there. I'll just put in my name and click save. Um, and then I've saved that. And then I can share this PDF right there. Um, so you can just share it through Gmail, Slack. It pulls up all your, your messages. You can get a link to it, which is really nice. So Adobe is actually given quite a few options as a free user without even paying for a subscription, which as you can see is about $10 a month um, if you want to get the premium subscription. So now that I've showed you using the, the website, the Adobe mobile app, uh, I'll give you another option, which is a free third party website where you can open a PDF on your phone, Android phone, download it into Word, edit it, and then upload it back onto there. So you're going to go to your browser on your mobile phone and type in I love PDF. So if you go I love PDF, you'll see one. Um, there's a couple sponsored ones. So you're going to go down to the organic one that we've tested and have found success with. It's called ilovepdf.com right there. So you click on I love PDF. So on this site, you can see there are several options to choose from. We're going to look at the PDF to Word tool on this one. So you click PDF to Word. You click the big red button, select your PDF file. So once you've selected your document, you click the red button on the bottom that says convert to Word. There you go, it's converting. And then it's gonna say download Word. All right, PDF has been converted. Now I can just open it up on here. Open with Docs. It's just giving me Docs or Acrobat. Let's try in Docs, okay.
Looks like I'm able to edit it in Google Docs. So it depends kind of what default apps you have set up on your phone. If you have Word, you can do that. This one said open in Word, but then it gave me Docs, Google Docs as an option. So I can just type in whatever I want. I don't need this text anymore. It's something old I don't use. And then I click the check and save that. I've edited this in Docs, but it, you can see at the top right that it says the file is in Word format. So it's actually saving it in Word, which is compatible, which is nice. And then I can share and export. I can click Save As, and then Save as Google Docs. So I've saved that into my account. It's just saving there. Once I've done that, I can go back to the home screen here, and there's an option that says Word to PDF. So it's going the opposite direction. Before we had PDF to Word, now I go Word to PDF. I click on that one. Once I'm there, I click Select Word Files. Click on that, Media Picker, and Word Files end with Doc. There, so I'm gonna type in Doc and see what comes up on there. I can, cl I can select a Word Doc that I've picked in there and then convert to PDF. So now I'm con converting a Word Doc into PDF. And I can just open it up right there using Acrobat. Let's just try that. There you go. All right, so that's how you do it doing the ilovepdf.com app. So I've given you a few methods using the Adobe web mobile website, looking at it from the desktop site, which I think is hard to read. You have to pinch and zoom and not all the functionality is there. It even says you have to use some of the desktop app features. The Adobe PDF Reader app on Android is good. I like it. There are several things that are free, a bunch that are not free as listed here. And then the ilovepdf.com website um, where you can open a PDF from your mobile phone download it into Word or Docs in compatibility mode, and then upload it back from Word, convert into PDF. Finally, if you just want to create a PDF for free from your phone, the easiest thing I've found to use is Google Drive. There's a scan function in there, um, which you click on Google Drive on there, and then at the bottom right, you'll see it says New. You click the plus button and click Scan, and I have this book, for example. I'll just scan that thing in. And it's automatic. You can add multiple pages. You can see there's a plus button there. You could, if this was a document, you could add multiple pages. And then you just click done right there. And then it'll ask you if you want to save this as a PDF or JPEG. So it's just come up with a title. It puts it in whatever drive folder you select. And there you've got a PDF for free built in right on your Android phone. So those were a few, few ways that you can edit, modify PDFs for free. You can sign them officially with the Adobe tool. You can do a lot there. And then finally, I showed you with the Google Drive function, you can just create a PDF for free. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you again soon.